Hello and welcome to your What's Up weekly energetic reading for the week of October 31st, Happy Halloween, to <laughs> November 5th. I hope you are all doing wonderfully and having a great time with little trick-or-treaters and everything else tonight. So, uh, that's the big news is Halloween. Uh, the energy-wise, we are at the high point of the thinning of the veil as we always do around this time of year. And for those of you who are not used to that, what that means is this time of year, from early October, early to mid-October through early November, the energetic veil between our world and the spirit world, for lack of a better word, gets a little thinner. That's why years ago they also always used to say the dead could walk among us on Halloween. You may be having dreams about loved ones that have passed on or due to the solar flare that is hitting Earth this weekend, you may have some batshit crazy dreams also. I know I have, and you may have had some too. But this time of year is all about reconnecting with what we love, which is why our loved ones come to visit us this time of year, usually through dreams. But we also connect with people that aren't, haven't passed on, that are still alive this time of year as well also in our dreams. Yes, don't we, Gypsy Cat? She's wandering down on the ground here. You want up? You want to say hi? Okay. My little Gypsy Cat wanted to say hi. And now she's like, why am I doing up here? Why can't I run around? You want down? Okay, there you go, kitty girl. But anyway, enough of the cat break. Also this week, we have the new moon in Scorpio on the 4th into the 5th. And anytime the moon is in Scorpio, the moon is all about emotions anyway. When it goes into Scorpio, it wants us to dig deep into our emotions. So you may be looking at those deeper feelings. Let's get on to the cards for this week. For today, for Sunday, we get the initiation of the Count Saint Germain. I get a little closer. Clarified by the Sacred Union in the challenge position. So now the initiation of the Count Saint Germain is, for those of you who are familiar with Saint Germain, the violet flame and stuff like that, it's all about talking about ascending your energetic level, ascending your life to the next level. When it's coupled by the sacred union in challenge, it's talking about bringing things into balance. So maybe this uh, going up to a higher, higher level in parts of your life in your financial life, in your emotional life, your relationship life, whatever part of it is, it's wanting you to bring things into balance so you can complete this uh, transformation. On to Monday. Monday, we get the Six of Keys, the Increscent Moon, which talks about working on, working on what we're working on, working on building, building our life. So you can see there's a gentleman here who is carving underneath the, uh, the waxing moon. He's working on building his life. And this one is clarified by the Spiral Dancer, Securitas Route Perception. And what the Spiral Dancer wants, us to remind, wants to remind us of is that the route through life isn't just a straight one. We sometimes spiral and revisit the same issues again. Sometimes we twist and weave through life but we are getting where we need to go, as long as we keep working on it. This is also about relationships that we don't always, it doesn't always seem like we're getting what we want in relationships, but those routes aren't, aren't always straight and clear for us. And divine is coming in and helping lead us where we need to go. Maybe not where we realize we are going yet, but where we need to go. On to Tuesday, we get the five of scrolls with diversity Oops, starting to lose the camera there. I wanted to get outside and it's kind of propped up haphazard a little bit. We'll see if it'll stay there. Oh, I may be just a little sideways. Oh well. Uh, the Five of Scrolls, Diversity, and clarified by the Queen of Light, Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. The Five of Scrolls is all about telling us to learn new things, try different things, see what it is we really want out of our life. 
and clarified by the Queen of the Light, she's just helping illuminate the way. She's helping show us the way. So if you see different things this week that maybe you hadn't noticed before or pique your curiosity, check them out, follow them. Then for, what day are we on? I think we're on, are we on Wednesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday. Uh, we get to the One of Keys, the architect. And that's all about designing the life you want and going where you need to go. Clarified by the winged wise ones. And if you look closely at the gentleman pointing, he's pointing to the angelic help and miraculous aid of the winged wise ones. What this is meaning for Wednesday is that we continue to build what we want and sometimes we have to lead and sometimes we have to break new ground and try new things to get there. But there is always help. The angels or divine messengers are always there to help. On to Thursday. We get seven of roses, the journey. Now this could talk about an actual physical journey. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're going somewhere, but it could also talk about that inner journey of the soul is deciding where you wanna go and what you wanna do. And it's clarified by the camel boy, small steps asking for help. And what that means is you don't have to take on the world all at once. Take it in those little moments, those little steps, but there always will be help there when you ask for it. The same is true since the camel boy always steps in and, and offers his assistance, assistance when you ask. Be careful what you wish for because he will provide it. Moving on to Friday, we get the queen of keys. The queen of keys is a wonderful woman surveying her entire domain. She is kind and sensitive. She's built her castle from the ground up. She or he in tarot, gender doesn't really matter. But this person has built their castle from the ground up. So if you're already in this position, maybe you're going to meet someone in this position, or maybe you need to uh, work on that for yourself. The oracle card clarifying that is the Diamond Dreamer, material wealth, true prosperity. And the Diamond Dreamer is bringing in that wealth. So if you've been wishing to have more wealth, if you can look and see, there is a genie on that card. Kind of going along with the camel boy of making your wishes, but then also seeing the wishes you have made that are already true. And to Saturday. Pull out the heavy hitters for Saturday because we have Archangel Michael coming in. Archangel Michael is the protector. He is one of the strongest angels. In fact, he leads the other archangels. And one thing with Archangel Michael is he leads from the heart. And I love that on this card, you can see very illuminated heart. But he leads from the heart and he does protect and take care of others. So if you're worried that you maybe not feeling so protected, call on Archangel Michael because he'll be there Saturday to help you. And this is clarified by the keeper of the scales in challenge position and fairness and balance in reverse. What that means is you need to take a little extra work to bring things into balance. And I do believe we had another card somewhere during the week that talked about bringing things into balance as well. So with this end of the energetic year with Halloween or Samhain as some people prefer to call it coming today and starting to bring in that true time of introspection going within just like the trees will lose their leaves and pull within for the winter. Sometimes this time of year is a good time for us to go within as well and see what it is we really want in our lives. Well, that's it for this week. Otherwise, the energy looks really, really good. I hope you are having a fabulous week, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.